Hi, so are you looking for an exciting inventory management system where you can record your in and out of the inventories? Where you can receive payments from the customer? Where you can extract the data using different criteria? Then yes, this video is for you. Let's begin the demonstration. First of all, you will list down all your items. So you will click on inventory info. Then you will be able to add a new inventory by clicking add new. So here, let's say you will take your item, let's say shirts. Uh, they are comes in pieces, let's say, and we have an opening inventory of, let's say, 1000 pieces, right? And then you can click on update and press yes. So you can see your shirt is listed. So if you click here, you'll be able to see the shirts here. And have, we have 1000 pieces, right? And this is also listed in your inventory info sheet. You can add as many as uh, items you want. You can list here. So let's say I want to add another item. Let's say pants. So pants comes in, let's say pieces again. And I have an opening inventory of 500 pants. And I just update it, right? So you can see uh, when I click on the pants, it says 500. And when I click on shirts, it says 1000. Once you added the item, you are not able to change the inventory names and anything directly from here. You, of course, but you can change the opening uh, number if you want, right? Just change and click on update. Then uh, we have a record of the customers. So you will click on customer info and here you will list down all your customers. So let's say you first click add new to add your first customer. So my first customer is, let's say, Excel Doors Private Limited. And you can add as all the information, what is the invoice to, the contact, the main phone, whatever field you are interested to fill, you can choose to fill. So I just add one, two, three, the contact number, let's say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and whatever uh, information you would like to add, you can add. Uh, you can also add as opening balance of so what, how much money you have to let's say receive from this customer. So let's say uh, he has a ten thousand receivable. So I just added ten thousand here, and just click on update and press yes. So I have successfully added my first customer. Let's add another customer. Let's say X Y Z Private Limited, and I can also add further information about. Uh, this company if I want and his opening balance let's say is 12,000 I click on update and press yes and I successfully added my second customers Of course when I'm buying and selling something so I will be having information for the vendors as well So in order to maintain the database for the vendors we have a defender info tab So you will click here and you will add your first vendor. So let's say your vendor is ABC company limited and here you can add his address xyz road um florida right and here you can add his balance so let's say his balance is fifteen thousand, right and you can click update and press here so you successfully added your first vendor similarly you can add another vendor so you can add as many as vendor you want so i just click add new here and my second vendor is uh let's say uh, Pakistan company right and one two three and his opening balance is let's say 60,000 and I just update and press yes so you can see this we have added information in the inventory info sheet so we have the opening balance of 1000 so we have available quantity 1000 because there is no in and out yet this is the customer information record you can scroll up and you can see here right Similarly, here you can see the information for the vendors. Now, um, let's say now you're going to purchase your inventory. So when you will purchase something, you will purchase from your vendors and you will purchase an item. So stock will come inside your warehouse. So you will click on inventory in. The inventory in will open this form like that. You will select which item you're purchasing. So well, let's say I'm going to purchase shirts. As soon as I click the shirts, it says we have available quantity of 1000. We can see at the right 
top right side uh, from which company I am purchasing I am purchasing this from ABC company let's say so it is also showing okay so we have a balance of 15,000 so let's say now I'm going to purchase 2,000 quantities at the price of 100 so my balance is 200,000 now okay so if you want to add any comment you can add and you just click on add right so you just added your first item and once you add all your items you just click on record are you sure you want to record this transaction you press yes and you can see your 15,000 has been adjusted and now uh, 185,000 is payable to this company and now you have a new fresh record of 30,000 and same you can see here uh, on the individual tabs that your inventory has increased by 3,000 by 2,000 and your vendor information has been increased by 200,000 the total purchase right similarly let's say now you are selling to your customers so we have these items and we have two customers listed so let's say I'm selling pants uh, I'm so let's say I'm selling uh, I already have 500 pieces available I can see so let's say I'm selling 200 pieces and I am selling at the price of 150 let's say so 30,000 uh, is the invoice I can add here okay I have to select the customer so I'm selling this to this company it has 10,000 as a balance I just add here I'm also selling shirt uh, to this company and I'm selling 1500 shirts at the price of let's say 700 right and I just add it here same company and I record it press yes so you can see and now this is the amount receivable from this company and now a balance left for the shirt is 1500 and the pants is 300 similar simultaneously right so that's how we just recorded uh, our inventory in and out information you can see from here as well that we have uh, sold out the shirt and pants accordingly so net balance is also coming here moreover uh, of course uh, when you are buying and selling you will receive and pay to your vendors as well you will receive payments from your customer you will pay to your vendors so let's say your customer came to you okay uh, this is the money uh, and this is the balance you whenever you click the customer you'll be able to see the balance so let's say you receive 500,000 uh, from this customer you can select the dates from here and you can it's an optional field if you want let's say he brought a check to you so you can type a check ABC bang right so it's an open field you just click on record press yes now you have this balance left 590,000 right for this customer and you just got your payment similarly you can pay to your vendors so whenever you click on the vendors name you'll be able to see how much you have to pay so now you have to pay uh, 185,000 to this company so let's say you just go and paid some extra so you will have some deposit with the company so let's say you pay 250,000 right uh, with the check or one to three let's say and you just record in press years and now you have 65,000 receivable from this company all this information is being registered in our register, right? Uh, from which register is coming, is there any commands, uh, who are the parties, inventories, pieces, quantity, price and amount, right? So all information is being listed here. And if you want to pull out uh, the data from your register, you can click this button, pull data, right? And here uh, you can select the criteria on what criteria <coughs> you want to pull out the data from your register. So let's say I want to take out all the information pertaining to Excel doers, right? On the certain date range. So all the information we have recorded today, so it will bring everything. So just click get data. So separate system will separate out the information for you in a separate sheet called data pool right we have all the uh, data listed here and this is a summary that the total sale we have two transaction uh, one uh, payment transaction we have done and one and two is the inventory out transaction the sale transaction right so all the information is coming right here so if, so if you want to have this inventory management system Please check out the description and download your copy and if you have not subscribed to this channel please subscribe now 
and share with others. Thank you so much.